Hey, Caleb. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Okay, so last where we left off, we had an Annie chart, and we used the common topics to help us build a more copious or more abundant Annie chart, right? Right. So then we had an Annie chart, and we are going to work toward um, forming our outline. But before we could form our outline, what did we do to this Annie chart that had so many... Um, you know, so many more entries, so many more proofs, so many more reasons that we've listed. What did we do to the Annie chart? We used the five common topics of invention mm -hmm. to become, to get more mm -hmm. ideas, things that you may not have thought about before, like comparing the two. Mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't have thought about that mm -hmm. if I didn't use the five common topics of invention. Helps okay. expand your Annie chart. Good. So. And then what do we do to the Annie chart once we had an expanded Annie chart? We sort okay. the any chart negative and affirmative. Oh okay. even if you've chose even if, you know, in this case I chose affirmative, mm -hmm. you still sort both sides. Okay. Can you explain to us how you how you went through sorting the well, any chart? Here's what you do. You start it doesn't matter, negative or affirmative, but you go to the one at the very top mm -hmm. and you put a symbol of your choice next to it. Okay. And then you go down to the other one below it. Okay. It does not have a sign. And you ask, is this like this or does this have the same idea as this? Okay. And if it does, you put the same symbol next to that one. And you go all the way down the chart. And then you come back up to the top and you go to the next one without a symbol. Create okay. a new symbol of your choice. And then you do the same thing until you every word every uh, proof has a symbol next to it. Okay. Next to it. Can you show me an example right over here on the on, on what you did like under the A column over here? Can right. you show us how that how that works? Made a new friend. Okay. Put a money sign next to it. Okay. Learn about Narnia. Is that the same idea as made a new friend? No. And then you go all the way down and wanted to meet Fawn, made a new friend. Same sort of idea. Okay. And then the one at the very b bottom brought hope to fawn, tumness. And then I went down after getting those three to learn about Narnia. Okay. And then just kept on doing the same thing. And then we organized it. Okay. Right over there. Okay. What did we do? We after, go ahead. Used, we got all the symbols, mm -hmm. all the ones with the money sign symbol. We put in a group and we added what we thought the whole big idea was, so we kind of made a category. Okay. And then we did that with all of them, and if we thought maybe some of them could be like another one, but we didn't choose to do that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then we can also just, because we originally had more than, <clears throat> we didn't, we only had three in comfort, mm -hmm. but we found out that one other thing was like comfort, so... We okay. put that into the comfort category. So we, we could rearrange a little bit, too, once right. we started putting our, our um, like ideas together. Very good. And then we gave them each kind of a label, right? right. Like you said, a category, an idea. Right. Very good. Well, good. So we went from our Annie chart, and, and we expanded it, had more ideas, and then we sorted the ideas, right? And uh, now we're getting ready to make our outline. So great work, Caleb. You enjoying it? Yes, ma'am. Anything you want to tell Mr. Andrew Kern, who created the uh, the Lost Tools of Writing? I would say it's a, it's a really good book. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be very intelligent to write that. Okay, I'll be sure that he hears that. Okay, thanks, Caleb. Thank you.